My name is Alex Lin. I'm 12 years old and I'm part of the wind team. The problem that we heard about is e-waste or electronic waste. For example, TVs, computers, microwaves, PCs. All of these things contain hazardous heavy metals and chemicals. These were polluting our environment. Well, the wind team, in brief, we just refurbish computers, we try to pass legislation, and we try to get the message out that this is something that has to be stopped. I'm Nancy, and I put the show together. I'm Jeff, and I'm the glue. I'm Victoria, and I find the kids who need the computer. I'm Bobby, and I'm the organizer of the team. I'm Kelsey, and I get the message out. I'm Alex, the mastermind and the stuff maker. And, and we're, we're the wind team! team. So you're an average person and you just bought a brand new computer. So what are you gonna do with the old one? You're either gonna put it into storage, recycle it, or just throw it away. And most people would throw it away. That's the worst possible thing that can happen to the e-waste. Several years after, when all the chemicals begin to leak out of the computers, then you start to have a problem. This is because e-waste contains dangerous poisons. Some of the chemicals are lead, cadmium, Mercury. All of these circuit boards here, including the one on the hard drive, the modem, and the main board, contain lead and cadmium. The lead seeps out easily. Well, it gets into your bloodstream, and it causes damage to the nervous and blood systems. So you, you can see why we all want to stop these from getting into our environment, our crops, the animals, and our own food. Well, I always suggested this idea for our project. Um, I got it from reading an article in the Wall Street Journal about e-waste. Um, I felt really shocked that we would let something like this happen. So by figuring out a way to be able to use those computers, we will both save those computers and lower the amount of e-waste that's being dumped. At the beginning of every project, it just feels like there's this like really daunting thing, just like huge that you're up against and you won't be able to solve it. Once you actually start thinking about these things, there are always some little things that you can do just to chip away at that and slowly bring about a change. The first thing we did was to find a responsible recycler who would actually come and recycle everything. Well, right now we're at the transfer station, which is the old landfill. This is where all of Westerly's waste used to be dumped and buried. Then over there is the receptacle that where it collects all the electronic waste. This is an e-waste container at the Westerly oh, transfer station. Prior to the kids having this container brought in here for the uh, electronics recycling, these items just all ended up in the garbage. And these kids will rebuild a computer out of, out of some of those parts. They rebuild computers and they offer it to the children that can't afford a computer and give it to them so that they have a computer to use yeah. free of charge. Reusing is seven times more efficient than recycling. This is kind of like the workstation. I bet it's not pulled down all the way, so it like... We get some new things, like new hard drives and maybe new modems. And then we go over it and we give it through a, like a rigorous test. And then if it's fine, we'll package it up, um, you know, put it together and then uh, ship it out. We made about like 120 computers. We also sent like six to Sri Lanka to help with the tsunami students. We gave 25 to um, our computer class and the rest have been headed out to our community. Yeah. My name is Johanna. I didn't have a computer at my house before. Most of my friends do have computers. I felt really left out because all my other friends could go on the internet and play games that I didn't have. I'm a single mom, they don't have a father. I have a very limited income as to what I can do. As much as I would like a computer, I was satisfied they have to go, you know, 20 minutes away to use the computer when they needed to do research and do projects. When I first saw the computer, I was really surprised. 
It made me really happy because I wasn't left out anymore. This is one of the best parts of doing what we do, seeing the happy face on the people we help out. They did a great job. Thank you. It's a blessing what you're doing. It's great. And we try to get the message out that this is something that has to be stopped. We've done this in really a bunch of ways, including TV broadcasts. Another thing we did was to give presentations to the next generation. Um, well, right okay, now um, we're headed towards the Dunn's Corners Elementary School, where we'll be presenting to the students about e-waste. We're just raising the awareness of um, the kids and so that they can tell their parents, and, like just have them know when they grow up like that they need to take care of e-waste too. Yeah, because... So no, you have to say that after the next static spot, okay? This entire gym is going to be filled with students. And here they come. E-Waste contains dangerous poisons and heavy metals, which Bobby's going to explain to you about. We find a way to make it interesting for them. For example, at the end of everyone we play games. What percent of e-waste is improperly disposed of? Tori, take someone in the back. 96%. The presentation of... I think it's important because he tries to change the world. Recycle. 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 For anybody who wants to help out in community service, it's always possible. Just find a cause and really believe that it's what you have to do and what's right.